he was a member of last year's first team, member of this year's second team, but there was no fall off. He was right on the border. Um, and I know this is one of Joe's personal favorites. You want to say it? D-Lo, let's go, D'Angelo Russell. Oh, that's your twin. Right on. Right? That's your twin. Right? That's good. Yeah. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2023 League Fits Awards Show. I'm your boy, Joe Williams. And I got my very special co-host alongside me, Mr. Ian Pierno. We got a couple special guests in the building today. Would you guys like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi guys. Uh, my name is Sydney Bordnero. I'm a stylist for a bunch of WNBA players. I do other athletes as well, but my WNBA girls are my main focus. And I'm your boy, Lance Fresh. I created the content around fashion and sports, primarily NBA style. So why wouldn't I be here with my, my people at Leaf Fits? Oh, wow. <laughs> How could I not be? <laughs> back. That's real. That's real. I'm Ian. I've been the League Fits guy since it started back in uh, 2018. Since then, we've done the All League Fits teams every single year. Um, but this is the first time we've ever had an award show, so I'm super excited about that. Um, before we get into it, I'll kind of explain how it works, because, you know, everyone's going to be like, how were these picked? They were wrong, they were right, whatever. Um, so basically, we split up the voting, right? So a third of the vote was the fans, which, like, thousands of y'all voted, so thanks. third of the vote was the Survival of the Fitted podcast, which is me and Joe. And then another third of the panel was a very specially curated uh, group of experts, designers, stylists, which included y'all. Um, there was 12 of you guys in total um, that voted, and we kind of combined all those okay. votes um, equally to, you know, come up with these teams. Uh, I got you. And without further ado, though, uh, you know, we could get into it. We'll start with the rookie team, which I think usually is, you know, pretty the e is usually the easiest team to pick. Yeah. You know, there's only 60 guys to choose from. Yeah. Um, and, you know, rookies, you know, their paychecks haven't usually hit all the Check way yet. Hit, yeah. So, yeah. so, but we'll get it started. Uh, first guy up was Jalen Williams from the Oklahoma City Thunder. I don't know about y'all, but I thought he was just like a level above the rest of the rookie Agreed. class this year. Agreed. I think he was my rookie of the year. Mm -hmm. um, if I can't, if I'm not, no, yeah. yeah, if I'm not mistaken, he was my rookie of the year choice. Mm -hmm. um, I seen something earlier in the year when he did something. He was doing shopping with Shay or something like that, and I feel like that probably sparked it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, agreed. He was just kind of head and shoulders above the rest in my eyes. So yeah. I could and double I, down on that. And I remember, you know. Uh, his uh, draft, you know, he oh, yeah. went to his like little draft party and he was telling me he was really into fashion. Um, and, you know, that was exciting for him to come through with his suit um, and everything. So uh, I told him, I said, you're going to have some competition on that team. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, glad he, uh, he stepped it up. Like you said, you know, just being around SGA, you got to set your game yeah. up around him. So. <laughs> okay, so you fashion week, believe it or not, is a thing that's here to stay. The most fashionable city in the NBA, and it's been that way too. Yeah. Next name up on the rookie team was actually a name that I think everybody saw coming uh, from the beginning, Jeremy Sohan out oh of Baylor. Yeah, that's my guy. Um, from the draft, he had the pearls. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I, I remember the comment section, he's our know, draft day is like, there's like a few days in League Fits every year where it's like our Super Bowl and draft day is yeah. one of those. Yeah. And in the comments, the second we posted Jeremy, <laughs> who I, you know, as I don't follow college basketball too closely, everyone's like, League Fits were the year, League Fits were the year, League Fits, like, everybody saw Jeremy coming and he didn't disappoint. Mm -hmm. And I think for him, I think it was dope that he came in like that because I feel like a lot of league players come in and then they try to fit into something else or, yep. you know, create a style. He but that's like li he that's knew. literally who he was coming yep. into it. So that's what I respect about it because, you know, I can always tell, you know, I think in my opinion, I can always tell when the guys are just trying to be something that they're not. Yeah. So it's, I appreciate it. It oozes him. Like, that's, I mean, I, that's what I can appreciate about him and, you know, certain others is that when their style is them, nobody else's, it's, no, it's not reciprocated. It's just, it's oozing them. And I, I love that. And you can tell that that's how he is. And... That's, that's fly. Yeah. That's fly for sure. Shout, but shout out to him for making it in San Antonio because we don't think yeah. fashion oh, in nope. San Antonio. Nope. Sorry, San Antonio. I love, I, love, I love the Riverwalk. I love the Riverwalk. <laughs> I love Tex Mex, but. The last few guys on the League Fits team, on the rookie team, I'll just list them off real quick is Jaden Ivey, yep. Benedict Metherin, and uh, Marjan Beauchamp. 
I guess we'll move on to the third team. And before we really get into that, though, I just want to bring up like how hard it is to pick these teams. As you guys know, Disgusting. Like, I remember like back in League Fits in like 2018, like there was, you know, we, that's when we started doing these. And there was three teams, same deal, 15 guys. And but it was like, it was cool because, you know, there was like maybe 25 guys dressing up every yeah. game. So, you know, there was like a few guys that got snubbed, you know. So what? Now we're at the point where, what, there's like 350 roster spots in the NBA, 450, I think. And uh, like 250 of those guys are dressing up. Come with it every, every game. game. So like, <laughs> like I want to get on leeches tonight. I want Ian here now to post me. Like, <laughs> I'm already nowhere. No, I, I love it. That's that's, that's a lesson. culture. Like that's I love that. Yeah. That's how it should be. Uh, but it makes these teams so hard, which yeah. I know you guys know because you guys had to vote on them. Uh, but we'll start with the third team, and okay. I think the first name is one that you know maybe everyone saw coming. He actually won the first ever League Fits MVP award back in 2018. That's Kelly Oubre. I'm a big fan of Kelly, just like on and off the court. Um, and I, like I said, he was one of the first ones that was just really jiggy. Just you know, it, he had his own. No, he had his own like vibe to him. Like he's street where he took risks. Like he paints his nails. Like he does things like that. No Hooper boys were doing that before him. Like it's all an that? aesthetic thing for Kelly yeah, too. Like, the like clothes are cool, but it goes with like who he yeah, is. Yeah, like that's kind of like, how like JC is Jordan Clarkson is too. Like the same kind of a, you know aesthetic and vibe. But I feel like Kelly Oubre was one of the first to do that and like. I can respect him for that. Like, I feel like Kelly Oubre could be top five if he really like. If he wanted, wanted to yeah, be like. Top five, I feel like he chilled point. this year. Yeah. I feel like he's definitely on like, on, like maybe even in like life too. Like you know what I'm saying, he has children. We even were talking about that on the podcast. Yeah. I'm like, he bro, married, he's not. Like, he married, like, he's married, married with yeah, like, yeah, he's now. married. Like, yeah, like he's married. You got a kid. He, yeah. you know what I'm saying, if he wanted to be top five on the like, you know, what I'm saying the first team, he could probably easily slide into that. But honestly, five. being chill and making the third team is almost cooler than trying super hard to make the first team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Next up is a guy who actually won his first ever league. Fitz Award this year. He was second in most improved uh, voting a year ago, okay. which is Carl Anthony Towns from the Timberwolves. Yeah. He, he was doing some things yeah. this year. I feel like his girl, Jordan, maybe, good for her. I know that she had, <laughs> I just, I feel like she had a play. No, like, come on now. You get the right woman in your life, one that yeah. you really, he got all that money. She was probably like, baby, let's, yeah. let's run it. Like, come on, let's talk about it. Mm, right. And I, I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling that she has something to do with it. For me, I was pushing for him on the third team because, like, when he got injured, he got a lot of like sideline photos. Oh, yeah. so, so, so I'm hard. seeing the photos <laughs> coming, like, like, yeah. and like he's really at her pose and like the little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's where I seen it. I was like, he's got to be on my third team. Like for me personally, that's what like got my vote. That's a real thing. There was a ball player. I won't name any names. So there was a ball player I was talking to like maybe two weeks ago, and he was like, "I never want to get hurt." But he's like, but man, I want these court sides. Oh, those court sides. <laughs> I, like, yeah. I was like, that's crazy, Wait. dude. Next up on the list uh, is a guy that maybe some of you guys know. Um, he was an honorable mention last year. He made the all-star team this year that the fans voted on. The NASA Santa de Cumpo. Okay. He's his first yeah. third team. Uh, hey. I, I, I styled the NASA. Hey. So, um, yeah. That's big. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. No, congratulations. Like that's big. Like I that's that's a good feeling. Yeah, but you know, it's it's a lot of him. It's a collaboration. Yeah. You know? We're not just like playing dress up. But, Absolutely. Uh, You're yeah. dressing him like how he feels. Like, you know, how yeah, like he he's a he's a nineties kid, so that's yeah. the way he likes dressing. I love um it. yeah, thank you. I just love the vibes. Like yeah. leader of the Good Same. Vibe Tribe. On the podcast, we always talk about the Good Vibe Tribe. Yeah. The NASA's Antenna Cooper, I think that's how you say his last name. Yeah, that was that's actually, what I'm saying. Leader of the Good Vibe Tribe, so shout out to A. That's that's dope for him, and and you know now he can be like the the stylist. He can say he's just the stylist brother because yeah. Giannis oh, is obviously yeah. the guy, right? Yeah, like he's the, the guy. But he's gonna be like at, at family dinners, but you know I dress the best, yeah. right? Like he's gonna. Be, <laughs> I'm the fly so one. shout out to him for being able to be able to do that. Anyways, um, the next guy on our list is a guy who was on the rookie team last year. Okay. He also made the third team last year, um, which is it's tough say. to do for a rookie. Um, Josh Christopher from the Houston Rockets. I so. like him. He's like been him. he's been crowned for a long time. Yeah, yeah. he he's been with it. I mean, he was like a phenom in high school. High school, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was always fly. First high schooler to be posted on League Fits. Really? Yeah. Huh, that's a good fact. It was a look, you know, it's League Fits. Yeah, so that's a good we fact. We don't yeah. make exceptions, but yeah. you're Josh Christopher, you're gonna pass. Yeah. Yeah, like I he's he's been he's been fly. He's just been he's been like this, and I feel like he's just lived up to the expectations. You know, cool dude, and you know, he he loves it. I saw he was here, um, Last week, and they went shop. You know, they went shopping as he should mm -hmm. out here in New York because you know we're the best city for that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he really, he really cares about it, and that's why I appreciate about 
the younger guys who actually want to get better and want to yeah. learn and like want to do shopping on their own and and also have stylists, but like he's one of the Absolutely. guys who goes into the stores and I appreciate that. He about puts him. in the time. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. he could tell like it's like a passion of his. Um, you he could just tell. Yeah, like you could just tell that like it's basketball fashion for him. You could just you know he knows all the all the brands. Like he puts things together mm -hmm. so effortlessly and like it kind of he oozes it. It's it, his like it's it's him. It's always him. I don't every time he's in something like I like the oversized vibe on him. Yeah, I, he evolved to that because a few years ago it was like bait hoodies and whatnot. Yes, like yeah. he wearing baggy daddies mm -hmm. and like just like bulky shoes. Like I love it. That's his that's his vibe and he and he's just eating it up. Yeah, this is a well deserved. Team. Well deserved. Second year, he's yeah. gonna keep coming. He'll just keep leveling yeah, up. Yeah, like yeah. that's a future it. first team guy, future yeah. MVP candidate for easy, sure. Easy, easy. We can crown it now. Next up, first ever league fits award. Um, probably overdue, but he really got his shine on the court this year, which means he also got some shine in the tunnel, the bull bull. Okay, oh, cool. okay. Cool. You know what? He's another one that's been fly. Yeah, since high school as well. Yeah, yeah, like to me, like I just remember he always had the heat. He was wearing the Supreme shooting sleeves before, yeah, you know, like, like J.R. Smith and them. Yeah, board. like yeah. he always just had the OD fly pieces and just wearing it in the game and had mm -hmm. shoes and coming to the game after the games, he had the fly hoodies on, just everything. He always, remember the suit? What suit did he have for draft day? It was a. Uh, oh, um, it was the. Wasn't it Thug? Yeah, Thug. Thug designed it. Did Thug design it? Yeah. Oh, with the spider, with the spider, with the spider yeah. webs on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, he always in that. Like he just, he's been on it too. He's another one, just like mm -hmm. Jacob, just been with it. Good for him. He yeah. that's deserving. That's deserving. I like that for him. And he's a big man, so shout out to him being yeah. so tall. I mean, he's slender, tall. so he could probably fit like a, a large or something yeah. like that. But, but it's all proportionally just to be so that, weird. That tall, like yeah. 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 How how tall is he? Seven like, three. Yeah, seven, like three. seven three, something like that. But he got like the crazy long arms, super skinny, like you said. Like I would love to know how I would love to know how like where did you shop? Like can you go to the regular stores at, at seven three? Bull Bull is a guy that's like super connected. I remember right oh. before the season started, Ian Connor DM's League oh, Fits. Oh, I love this. And he dude. was like, I you want to tell him? Like, no, you can tell the I screenshot it. He's like styling 17. him at, at one point, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, Ian Connor messaged League Fits. He's like, if my baby bull isn't on a, <laughs> isn't on League Fits this year, like we're gonna have a problem or yeah. something like <laughs> that. It was so in my mind, like he don't be wearing clothes, he be wearing pieces. Yeah, Y'all yeah, don't yeah. understand he what he's like, doing. <laughs> I'm like, bro, relax. It was like a so love. It was like a borderline threat. It was like a crib, like. But like he's like just, like the designer world like messes with bull bull. He's like, like hot. He's hot like, fashion. Like like Chrome Hearts. Like Chrome Hearts will like make bull bull a pair of jeans. Yeah, like you I want I mean? him to get more involved. Like I I want bull, like I want to see my fashion week. I want to see him walk. Like I know that's kind of crazy and it's kind of mm -hmm. tough because the you know fashion week is similar time during the season and stuff. But I would love to see him do something like that because that's what I see for him. I don't know. Mm -hmm. He's just he's. That high fashion realm is, is so him, and like you said, he's so connected yeah. as well. I would love to see, I just would love to see that from him. I think that'd be a vibe. Next up, okay. we got the second team. Um, you know, so top 10. Oof. First name is a guy that, you know, you guys have heard before. He kind of embodies what like modern day League Fits is. He was the first ever League Fits Rookie of the Year, so you know, came in at the exact right time. And he's actually made the All League, one A All League Fits team every year since, and that's Kyle Kuzma. He has moments. He does. He takes risks. He, I don't know. Like I, I love it. He he does bizarre things, and I just think that's cool because it's him. Like he's confident when he does it. You know? He wore flip flops in the tunnel this year. Yeah, like he could do whatever. He does whatever he wants. You know. But I think that's fashion. Like you do. You you dress how you feel. So I had him in my in my third um, for my third team because okay. like I wanted to like team. like I said I put people who I feel like just do things for. I don't want to say attention, but like just trying to like make a. Stay you know what I mean? Yeah. So and I he knows he's going viral. Yeah, he, yeah. He, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so it's like I can't really take it serious because when I see him, I think of like Zoolander. Like, I think of, <laughs> like for real. Like I, I literally like the stuff that he wears. It's just like Across and Westbrook, the you know, kind of like teetered that line yeah. early on. Um, on but like you know, when you see shows trolling like the NBA and like this is what you know people do that on Instagram all the time. That's kind of what I think about. Yeah. Um, with him, where I don't. Think I don't know him personally, and I've seen you know I've been around him and you know seen things, but you know I don't know. I, I'm looking at what like how you used to dress, and now like all of a sudden going back to uh, bro from the the Spurs, it's like you came in like that. That's who you are. Yeah. You came in like quiet and chill, and now yeah. you're like 
wild and yeah. you know you're wearing these you're wearing these you're wearing these runway yeah yeah you're wearing these runway pieces so whenever I see it it's just like come on bro you know what I mean like okay I, so I, you don't love it you don't okay okay no, I kind of no, love it I love it no no he was he was on the third team he was on the third team for me but like I know I hear you though I like to I like that you gave a different perspective because that's that's cool the next guy whose name has already come up and for good reason we have a league fits hall of fame he's the only active player to ever be inducted into the league fits hall of fame uh, obviously, he's made every single League Fits team as well. That's Russell Westbrook. I love Honor the Gift. Love, love, love Honor the Gift. Which I is think. His brand. Yeah, that's his brand. Yeah. Um, and he reps it a lot, as he should. He reps it a lot, and I like how he just puts a play on the pieces and he, he pairs them well together. And a bunch of the other players were like, I love that they just were yeah. supporting him and stuff like that. And I had him on my second team too, um, yeah. just because, you know, Me like too. I said, he went through that phase that Kuzma's going through right now. And yeah. Now he's more, but he invented it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He invented that. Um, that Zoolander, I always call it Zoolander. Zoolander. You know, like just <laughs> straight off the runway pieces, you know, in the tunnel. Yeah. You know, repping your own brand, repping it cool. Um, but he did, you know, the evolution to his like kind of like more mature style. Yep. But I did love that Russ did still like sneak in like one viral moment this year, which was Christmas Day, which turned out to be like the league fit stack. Yeah. Didn't know that, but I'm hoping like that's just a tradition for years to come. Yeah. Because I love checking Getty, Getty images when I'm yeah. with my family. But um, <laughs> <laughs> when, he, uh, when he popped out in the Tom Brown suit on Christmas Day, oh, he was still with the yeah. Lakers. In the, in the kilt, not the suit, the kilt, my bad. Um, He's always one to wear a skirt. I love yeah. when he wears skirts. Next up, this is his first ever league fits award. Um, Jalen Brown from the Celtics. He was consistent this whole year. Does though. he have a stylist? Do you know? Yeah, I know he works with uh, okay. my guy Dex, Dex Rob. Dex, okay, oh, okay, yeah. That oh yeah, Dex Rob. Okay, yeah, I know who that is. I yeah. know who that is. I mean, not taking, but like I could, you could see it. Like I could see the noticeable, and I, I love that. You know, I feel like when you work with a stylist, that's no knock. You know, I feel like it's help. You know, that's helping you find your style. That's helping you find your vibe, and then having someone help you find pieces because finding pieces is difficult. You know, yeah. trying to like it's just to consistently. You know, how many games do these guys have? They have four games a week, five games a week, like. How many, you know, how do you play basketball and travel to all these cities and try to, you know, like mm -hmm. that's that's good, good for him. And I seen it, I noticed it. Um, yeah, he killed it. And he had like a defined aesthetic, which is like a word that keeps popping yep. up. Like he did like the dark colors, yep. like it all like looks natural. You know yep. what I mean? Like it all I was the same, beans, same but different. Yeah. yeah, like it looked like it went together. Like it was like not from the same collection. That sounded like, but he. He was consistent, like with he his had a vibe. He had a mood board. Yeah, and he, yeah. He, he he knocked it out the park. And I love that. I love that. And, and I had him as my uh, my second team as well. And the last guy in the second team, he was a massive fan favorite. Um, he was a starter in our All Star team voting last winter, which is a hundred percent fan done. And this is his first time in an All League Fits team. He actually won Rookie of the Year in a little bit of a weak rookie class a few years ago, and his style has completely evolved. With Tyrese Halliburton gets the last oh, slot yeah. on the second team. He made the second team. Good for him. Yeah, he went from like like NASCAR graphic tees short and shorts, like, like and short table, shorts, yeah, like ankle socks ankle and dunks socks. to like Prada loafers. Look, and we can bombers appreciate when that check like hit. <laughs> so he, uh, yeah, he he evolved a lot this year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and like you, you said, he like he has his own kind of niche. He found his own style. Yeah. Um, Gray Wait. sweats, loafers, white socks. Yep. With any, it could be a dress shirt on top, jacket on top. He's gonna wear the gray sweats and the loafers. He is a fan yeah. favorite though. Yeah. That's cute. Like mm -hmm. pe people do, they love him. They yeah. do. They love him. You could tell that he's just. He has to be a good guy too, because just Terry's the way that people dude. like gravitate towards him. Um, you know, you could just. That's great. You know, you, yeah. that, that's great. And yeah, like you said, he came into his own, and like when that check hit, it's. A little yeah. easier. <laughs> but man, he saw in the rookie deal. Yeah. He just figured he it out. His rookie deal. Yeah. He just figured it out. He, he just started space. getting fly. Next guy, he was a member of last year's first team, member of this year's second team, but there was no fall off. He was right on the border. Um, and I know this is one of Joe's personal favorites. You want to say it? D Lo, let's go. D'Angelo. Okay, that's your twin. Right, 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 right. Right? That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joe gets a little nervous when people say that, but he loves when people say that. I just get it too much where it's kind of like it's what it's nah. like. <laughs> we were we were in Vegas last summer filming a podcast uh, with, with D Wade and Carmelo, which was so cool. And uh, the second he meets D Wade, uh, Wade looks at Joe. He's like, "You got kind, you got kind of like a D Lo swag to you." <laughs> and Joe is like, 
you could just like see it in his eyes. It's just like the universe <laughs> open. <Yeah. laughs> universe I ain't mad at that. Yeah. Wow. So why don't you tell us what you like about uh, about this pick? Well, I mean, that's my guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. What can I say? D-Lo's like super laid back. You know what I'm saying? Confidence is calm. So like that's why I really rock with the most. I mean, on the second team personally, but my favorite player on the court and low-key like in the tunnel too. Mm-hmm. And before we get into the first team and the final awards, I thought maybe we could tell a couple stories, Mm -hmm. uh, me and Joe, about our first times uh, wearing 501s, our favorite memories, and, you know, these iconic Mm -hmm. jeans. Uh, You want to take it away first? Well, I mean, mean, not to, you know, date myself, but I remember back in middle school, I had, like, my lucky pair of Levi's that Mm -hmm. my, like, my aunt literally bought me these pants for Christmas. And (laughs) I literally, I remember I pulled up to class when we were getting our test back, and I had the 501s on, and I passed the test. Don't know if it was because I had the jeans on or whatever, but I was so <laughs> maniacal that I was like, Probably it's not. gotta be because of these pants. So I yeah. literally like wore these pants to the ground. I don't even know if I washed them, bro. Like to That's be honest, like, I think I only wore them like for those days. Di- but I, every time I'd get my test back or whatever it would be, like I would put on these pants and I'd, I'd be passing. You know what I'm saying? So they were like low key my lucky pair of Levi's. Did you study? Absolutely not. <laughs> So I think it was probably because of the pants, bro. Like to be honest, so it was like a whole like little. You know, I like like Mike out the sneakers. Yeah, that was like me, like with the pants. Wow. Probably okay. I can actually relate to that, yeah. but the difference between you and I is I was actually athletic. Disrespectful, um, man. So in high school, you know, I was never like a gym rat. Like I don't like lifting weights; they're too heavy. <laughs> Um, but like, like my sophomore year of high school, I realized I could like hang on the rim and I was like, Oh, like I could like possibly dunk one day. So I started going to the gym and just like, just doing calf raises. Like that (laughs) that was it. Like I'm not, uh, my weights are too heavy. Weights too damn heavy. So I just get like my calves and my quads. Right. Anyway, it's way harder to dunk a basketball than you guys think. Like grabbing the rim, you're actually not close to being able to dunk. No, because you gotta you get need, the like, whole foot. ball above. Like it's like above. another foot almost. Yeah, right? like Word. yeah, because you gotta get the whole ball above. Basically, the basketball is like pretty big. Yeah, I can so I was dunking like tennis balls off yeah. rip. Word. Um, so anyway, I grinded it out like six months. And like I would just go to the like you know because the gym also had a basketball court. Every day I would go and I would try and dunk. It would always come so close. You know how it goes. Ugh. Anyway, so one day I shower, I'm leaving, I'm wearing my, my jeans, my 501s, my, my Levi's on the way out. And you guys know when you're leaving the gym, it's like, hey, yo, let me get a shot up. You got you, you, you like slip off the back. Are you one of those guys? Let me get a shot Always, up. dude. In high school, like at the school gym, at like the gym gym. Like, Anytime. Always. Let me get a shot. So I'm like, let me get a shot off. You know, I miss it. Of course, I'm not really a shooter. That didn't end up like Chandler Parsons. <laughs> um, but anyway, I get my own rebound. And I'm just like, you know, I just at this point I just like showing off that yeah. I can jump. So anyway, I go up, and uh, I, the first time I dunked, I was wearing jeans and like regular sneakers. You're so, lying. Oh, no, I'm, I'm for real. It's what? I'm six one. Like I'm tall. Like I was able to dunk. Word. Good for you. What kind of sneakers did you have on? Girl, I don't even remember, That's but I do, rem- I, do re- I do remember my 501s. Yeah, there you go. And everyone was like, crazy. damn, he dunked the 501s. Ah. He dunked in his Levi. He did the jeans. <laughs> That's crazy. That's actually a really good story. Before we get to the next round, I have a spot from Levi's to show y'all. many guys on the ballot this year so many guys were dressing up so before we get into the first team I do want to give a little bit of love from guys that you know got a big amount of votes but you know maybe didn't quite squeeze onto the third team but we're super close we're gonna off for you we got Jalen Williams who made the rookie mm-hmm. team PJ Tucker league fits mainstay Jalen Green Jordan Poole Nikhil Alexander Walker Jeremy Sohan LeBron James himself, his, I think, yeah, his... Uh, deserves. Deserves, yeah. deserves. Um, never thought I'd say that, but... Mm, deserves. Yeah, Darius Baisley, and then last up, Jason Tatum. Those were all pretty... I think those are good. All, all of those names, I feel all like, could have made teams and maybe should have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. Like I said, I would I would me personally, I would have put Braun on the second team. Now we're on to, I think, the part that everyone's been waiting for, and that's the first team... Um, the first name is a guy whose name we've already brought up. He was the most popular League Fits rookie ever. He's made an all-league fits team every year since, and that's Shea Gilgis Alexander. 
he that's a no brainer. Yeah, yeah. he's a no brainer. Yeah. I mean, he was he was a unanimous pick. So yeah, he, the uh, the panel had him first team. Me and Joe had him first team, and the fans also had him first team. Right. And he was just one of two guys that was a unanimous pick. It goes back to what we were talking about. You know, me and my friends, we were talking about this the other day, and I'm like, this dude can literally wear anything. He has one of those bodies that yep. he can wear anything. Good basketball I think, body. I think that uh, he's at that perfect size where you could get those. You could. You not saying not, not taking away from yeah. it, but it's it's dope that you can wear everything. Yeah. Right. And I just love his style and you know he 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 really jumps into the whole baggy, you know, everyone I feel like baggy all the daddies. players are, all the players are like following his silhouette. Yeah. Um now. his influence is crazy. Yeah. Yep. And he's and like, a young dude. And yeah. like even even, you know, like on his Instagram, he was one of the first guys who I saw who would literally, and now every young player is doing this. Would mix like their their off the court fix with their on the court fix. Yeah, and now, like, every, if you go into any of these guys, any of the all rookie team, I promise you, you go to their Instagrams, they all have that. Here's my tunnel fit. Here's my on the court fit. Back to the tunnel fit. Like he, yeah. that's, that's something that he he created. Not to mention his bars are always crazy. You know? I was gonna say that his Instagram caption. captions go wild. Yeah. I was like, I was hoping somebody whole, brought that up. He's putting right, us yeah. out of a job. <laughs> I know, like, <laughs> yeah, but his, yeah, his whole idea, you're right. His whole page is just yeah. is all right. his fits. Like it's just. Yeah, you can see everything. Yeah, it's and, cool. And he's balling. The other guy who's also unanimous choice, and he's also like setting a little bit of history here. Jordan Clarkson is the is the first player ever to make four straight um, All League fits first teams, That's crazy. Um, That's which is insane. Scary. Just because when you think about like the competition and whatnot, but it, like obviously just super deserved. Yeah, it's his aesthetic to like dark and like I'm gonna have like my nails painted and like silver jewelry and the black glasses like that's just a vibe to me everything all his outfits kind of match that aesthetic and I love it it he, he's I don't know I don't have anything else to say I just I, I love I love his vibe yeah. love it yeah JC is one of my one of my good friends in the league and I've known him since he was on the Lakers um, with Swaggy mm. and you know back when you know I interviewed them both they were talking about you know how he would you know, steal stuff from his closet yeah. you know, back in the day. So it's, it's it's cool to see the way he's evolved. And back then it was just kind of like, you know, more of a supreme vibe, yeah. right. you know, back in. Now he's kind of evolved to, you know, wearing kilts and yeah. Tom Ford. And, you know, he's being at, he's front row at this show and doing stuff with Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of dope to see, you know, the way he's evolved as well. And, and then I feel like he's someone who really grew into like his own. I yep. feel like he was taking things from like people like Swaggy, like mm -hmm. the veterans and stuff like that. And then he kind of like just grew into his own, and now he has his own look. Yeah. Um, whereas you know, and, and him and SGA like they're kind of, they're, they're neck and neck. Their styles like, the are, and, and their styles are similar as well. Yeah. Um, Slight difference. But I feel Slight like different. I feel like he takes more risk than um, than Shea. Yeah. I, feel that. I agree. I, feel that's I agree. One hundred percent. That's why. And, like he'd be one of my favorites. Yeah. And he has a Lululemon deal, which is fire. Like Lululemon doesn't give anybody deals. The fact that he has one is changing the game. Yeah, that's dope. Like I, I, I just that's cool. That's cool. Like the fact that like Lululemon and what is it? What is his sneaker deal? He doesn't have one right now. Yeah, he doesn't have which one. is actually Point. tight. He was wearing like the Under Armour like ASAP Rockies yeah, like, the other like, week. Like, like that's just, like so random. Yeah, that's though. fire like, though. So that's probably yeah, why Samba's, he has that little lemon, and the then he can do whatever boots. he wants on the court. That's yeah. cool. That's a vibe, and it goes with you know when you have when you're a fashionable, you can wear whatever you want now. Then and you don't have any, you know, you don't go. You can wear Nikes. Can. The next guy, he was last year's MVP. Um, and that's Devin Booker. I've always loved Book. I think like his style is like kind of something that, you know, if you're not an NBA player and you're just like a regular guy like mm -hmm. walking around, like Devin Booker is a great guy to have on on your mood board. You yep. know what I mean? He just yep. does like that kind of like classic swag, like effortless swag, yep. um, really well. That's you know, it's attainable. You know, the Carhartt, the you know things like that. Not too, yeah, not too expensive. It's mm -hmm. not like blasting designer all the time. And if it yeah. is, it's very like you said, it's low subtle. key. It's low You're key. Like, oh, yeah. that's a Prada dress shirt. And, yeah, and <laughs> yeah. like not that like his outfits. Not that they all like look the same, but it, it's all the same. Same words. aesthetic. Yeah, it's he all the same aesthetic. The, they yeah, all. He's, yeah. he's, I, my opinion, I think he has like the best aesthetic in the league, and he has it like dialed. It just goes back. It's just so easy to just go in these stores and be like. All right, let me get this brand. Let me get that brand. It's so easy to be that yeah. person, and you know that's just not him. You know, like yeah. he he will rock his Tom Sachs. Chill guy, yeah. You know what I mean? Old like soul. all the time. You know, he'll, he he actually wears his kicks, and I'm just like, bro, what size are you? They're 14. All right, let me get those. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, never gonna wear those. You know what I mean? Like that's that's who yeah. he is. So and like I, you know, I always, you know, it's a quote from Pharrell from like when I was in high school that always stuck with me. He's like, yo, I'm never going to a, a place. And like, yo, I'm killing them with this fit. Like, I have to just be comfortable and cool. Yeah. And there's times, you know, like, that I have to think about that. I'm like, this is fire and everybody's gonna like it, but I don't really like 
the way I feel in it today. Yep. You know what I mean? You and that's kind of like good. what I did. And that's why I appreciate people like that who are actually true to who they are and, you know, not just fucking your style. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's you. That's who you are. Yeah. So. Next name is a guy who's getting his first ever League Fits Award, and it's pretty crazy that, you know, your first ever, because a lot of these guys have built up. It's the rookie team, yeah. the third team. Just popped out on first but it's, team. Uh, he came out of nowhere, and that's Jeremy Grant. Oh, big high fashion yeah. guy, yeah, big like it. comb, Margiela. Like, yeah. I never thought I'd see an NBA player wear, my, wear Margiela tabbies. Look. He did it like, multiple times um, in this like sneaker world that we live in. He's really like Mr. Put that S-H-I-T yeah. on. Like he, <laughs> no, he comes with, he comes with like the game, with, with a, it's different, it's different every game. So like, it's, nobody it's, dresses like Jeremy. No, like it's And it's no one's gonna fashion. try to dress like Jeremy yeah, either. No, like, and I don't think anybody else could really I mean, I guess they could. Yeah. I, you know, I'd have to see it, but yeah. be like each uh, outfit costume. he wears. It could be like a like a like a professor outfit. Yeah. But it's like what what topic is he teaching today? Yeah, oh, like yeah. we got like British literature, Jeremy. Yes, like, it's the got, theme. It's we a got theme. biology, Jeremy. But it's all like these like <laughs> I love a theme. Like Cambridge professor yes. looking fits. Yes, uh, and that's cool. So I actually voted Jeremy on my first team. He's on my first team as well. Um, just because I. He's he's on a wave that we've never undeniable. Really seen yeah, you can't yeah. you can't deny that. He made his first All League Fits team a year ago. He was on the third team, and he was an easy lock uh, for the first team this year. He had a big year on and off the court. It was uh, accelerated a little bit when he moved to LA, and that's Jared Vanderbilt. Jared came crazy this year. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. And he also takes risks too. Which is yeah. Like. yeah. He had like what, those. The pants was like stitched together. Or whatever, yeah, you know what I'm had a hat, fur <laughs> yeah, like, hat on, like a top, like a yeah, top coat like, hat yeah. on. Exactly, yeah. a guy that could do a lot yeah, of like different a whole, things. Yes, like, yeah. mask he, type joint with the hoodie. The, oh, the, the other wreck. day, the yeah. Rick, yeah. the other day, like. My girl Jordan styles him. She does a great job with him. Um, but yeah, take his risks, and he's another one that has that like good basketball body where things just like look really great on him. Yeah. Um, first team's well deserved. He was on my first team as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was. He deserved that. And now, I think the most important part of this uh, is we're going to go through the awards. It's most improved rookie of the year. And then really the one that's super yeah, important, yeah, yeah. which is MVP. Okay. Um, I'll start real quick uh, with the most improved. That actually is going to Jalen Brown. Yeah. Okay, good, that was my good, yeah, good, good, good. That's a good. That's that was my vote, too. Yeah. Uh, I think it was my deserved. vote, too, actually. Yeah. yeah. See, vibes aligned. Yeah. He... Deserved. Listen, yeah. he's and he's just such a good dude, man. And it's like everything that he, you know, he's just like the player <clears throat> that doesn't get enough credit for everything he does. Mm -mm, like, yeah. Agreed. Rookie of the year, this was a, a two-man race. It yeah. was since the day the season started. Um, it was neck and neck between Jeremy Sohan and Jalen Williams. Um, and it did go to Jalen Williams. Mm. You know, mm. OKC Fashion Dub, Week is alive and well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and shout out Dub. I don't know if there was a I don't know if there was a basketball player more active in the League Fits comment yeah. section this year than, than Dub was. Uh, always in first person. Um, so I was happy for or him. Third that was, yeah, yeah, third person. Third person. <laughs> um, yeah. Well deserved. Yeah, it was my vote. I love um, when credit credit gets give due. You know, yeah, he deserved it. So he was so cool. Another guy that would switch up his silhouettes, like real classic. Also like a lot of stuff, like swag that you can buy. Like I remember when we had Jalen on Dub, when we had Dub on the pod. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're like, where do you go shopping? He's like the Santa Clara flea market. <laughs> it was like- See, I can appreciate that though. Yeah, like I, getting fly all, you know, just because you have expensive clothes doesn't mean you fly. Like just because you have Balenciaga, LV, Gucci, that doesn't, you, what, what is that doing? You know, if you could put something together off of Urban Outfitters and doing this and that, like, that's what makes you fly to me because you don't need pieces, you don't need expensive pieces to make you look good. Like, yeah. as long as you, you put it together well, yeah, yeah, like, you gotta, you gotta that's when you, re like, peakness, when you could, like, throw, like, your, you know, your designer pieces on, but then you have, like, some other pieces that you just found and you can, like, thrift it. some Levi's yeah. and put it with, like, a Rick jacket and it'll look right. Super fly. Yeah. Now, I think we're just gonna get into the biggest moment of the show, the moment that everyone has been waiting for, the moment that everyone has sat through to get to, and that's who's winning the MVP award. Ooh. And I'll let you know. And he, he's been in the running for several years. Every year, the comment section, y'all, let us know, how hasn't this guy won yet? Oh, he got it this year. Um, and this year, it, it wasn't even close. Yeah. And, and all the votes, he, he ran away with it. He had like a 40% lead, I think, in the votes. <laughs> um, that's Shea, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Good, you know what? Yeah. He's MVP. Uh, the panel picked him, the fans picked him, me and Joe picked him. Yeah. 
um, and it's well deserved. Mm -hmm. Honestly, maybe a little bit overdue. Yeah. That was my biggest thing. I was like, it's, it's kind of a little overdue. Like, yeah. He had, he had, I mean, this year he had like that, that Steph Curry year, right? Where yeah. Like, you, you this was a like, Steph Curry year. Not even close. Yeah. Like, not even close. That he boomed on, on the court like, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, he's just, I think he's just like the next, like the, the next guy, right? We talked about like the Wades and all those guys and the Westbrooks and it's like, right now he's that guy. Yeah. Like everybody, you know, you, it's hard, you can't hate on his style. Mm -mm. It's just hard. To, it's almost impossible because I feel like his style is so relatable to everyone. Mm -hmm. Like it's just... You know, he can mix it up and I like I, I feel like his style is like nineties New York yep. and also like, you know, dressing like an anime character. You <laughs> it's know what hard, I mean? like, so hard to I label. feel like he's just literally he has everything that you want to try. Yeah. yeah. Like you like, ah oh, shit, I always want to try that. You everything know what I mean? you wanna try, he he it's tries nice. all of it and then like molds it together. It's just sure. like a melting pot of mm -hmm. influence. Yeah. And I think that's so, so, so cool. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. he'll get into like the hype pieces. Like obviously you guys remember when the red boots yeah, came like, out. And that's and cool. Everyone, like he's trolling a little bit and but, I like that. But hold up, like, like every show him how to do it. Yeah, show like, him how to do it. And he wore him the best. I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. like, show, me, show me somebody else who didn't make him look as crazy. Right. Like, yeah, every, like, like they actually I'll looked wait. like kind of regular. Yeah. And this is a compliment. Yeah. To him, like it didn't look like silly, which is the point of the product. Yeah. No, it, it was like, good on Yeah, him. it was like he wore an outfit. I was like, I was like maybe I should go get a pair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear to God. Like, right. I'm lying. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I well deserved. He, mm. I, I was going to say him or Jay Clarkson. I just have a super soft spot, super soft spot for Jordan Clarkson. Me too. But he, um, yeah, he, he deserved it. This is, not, this is not his last one. No. And especially no, since no he chance. has, I didn't realize he didn't, he hasn't won one yet. Mm hmm. Wow. It's always wow. been controversial too for him not winning it. I guess maybe we got to make a real uh, League Fist MVP trophy yeah. so that way he can start yes. putting them uh, on the shelf. Start putting them on the mantle. Uh, with the real NBA MVP yeah. trophies that might be coming soon too. Y'all have, have to make one. No, seriously. Yeah. Someone call Adam up. No, nah, yeah, we finna, we finna design. <laughs> hey, we finna design that. Come on, let's, let's, let's do it. Yeah, let's come in, y'all. Let's do it. <sighs> All right. Bet. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to the 2023 League Fits Awards. And I want to say thank you to Lance. Thank you to Sydney for coming out and joining us of in beautiful New York City today. Oh, blue um, skies. To get this done. Looking like, like California. No, he just played a great, oh, don't do that, the greatest city. <laughs> We're no, in New kidding. York, the greatest I city. I love New York. I, Shout out OKC though, right? Shout out OKC. Right. OKC, OKC, the new Fashion New Capital. York. Okay, so that's the, the new one LA. thing you should take away from this video. <laughs> but no, thank you guys. Thank you for having us. Um, hopefully, you know, next couple of years we'll keep it, keep it rocking. We'll keep it, we'll keep it pushing. But cool. Thanks, guys. Yo, thank you everyone for coming through. We'll see y'all next year.